This is unexpected. A system applied since the 20th century at NASA's launch pad will appear in Starbase for the first time. Can you guess what? Yeah, it's the flame trench. This is a part of SpaceX's plan to convert a Massey's gun range into a dedicated rocket test facility. So how will SpaceX design it to suit the scale of the Starship rocket? Why is the flame trench used in this case and not a regular water deluge system? Find out everything in today's episode of TechMap. First of all, it's time to correct the misleading about the flame trench. Many people tend to consider the flame trench to be used only under orbital launch pads like those that appear at NASA's 39B. This is not wrong, but not complete. The flame trench is actually a trench to accommodate the exhaust heat and fumes from the rockets. The flame trench consists of a flame deflector which deflects the burn products horizontally within the trench before dissipating into the surrounding atmosphere. This process minimizes noise, heat, and debris deflection on the surrounding environment as well as on the rocket itself. Therefore, at the Massey test site, this new upgrade is also called the flame trench because it helps to divert the flame and exhaust gas from the spacecraft's Raptor engines during the static fire test. Okay, I hope you get the fundamental definition of this system. So now let's anatomy the new flame diverter structure at the engine testing area. Overall, this system is poised to resemble the flame diverter system beneath SpaceX's Raptor tripod test stand in McGregor, but with some modifications. Thanks to the renderings of Ryan Hansen and Chroma Kiwi, we can see clearly that this system is formed of the primary component component is the flame bucket comprising four pedestals combined with six C-shaped beams, forming six slots. These pedestals will feature a hollow section with studs or pegs intended to be filled with concrete upon installation to bolster sturdiness. The flame bucket is shaped into a curve to snugly fit against curved walls or transitional surfaces within the test stand. The secondary component is the truss platform looking like a stair. Once fully assembled, this part will be situated on the inclined surface of the test stand beneath the aperture, initially absorbing the impact from the engine's energy discharge. Recently, a new component is unveiled by Chroma Kiwi. This part, circular in shape, is affixed to an A-shaped frame. According to some speculations, it could be mounted within the aperture above the truss platform. In addition to these components, there may be further additions or systems integrated into the setup. Next, before going any further, if you found this information useful, remember to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. And now, Let's go back to today's episode. The construction of the flame trench is just part of the transformation of the engine testing area in Massey. The engine testing area, which is currently under heavy construction, will replace the current function of the suborbital launch site to make way for a second Starship launch tower at the launch site. On January 8, Musk shared that SpaceX acquired a gun range near Starbase to use the land. Massey's gun range is being turned into a rocket test facility. Perfect match, he wrote via Twitter. The location is approximately 15 minutes away from the launch site, along the same Highway 4 road. To be honest, this purchase was closed in 2021. Sources close to the deal have indicated that this location will be the Raptor facility and possible uses may include repair, rebuild, and testing of rocket engines. For testing purposes since a long time ago, we have been able to predict the presence of a mini version of OLM dedicated to testing. Although we have no idea if SpaceX build a mock launch tower for Starship's re-entry, a static fire test stand with a flame trench underneath should be a priority. But why? Most notably, a testing stand is much simpler than a giant launch tower and the static fire test occurs pretty frequently, raising the urgency for a test launch pad so we can start with it first. Along with the increasing cadence of Starship's flight, the frequency of using OLM will also increase. This year alone, SpaceX targets nine Starship's flights. It doesn't make sense for us to combine both launch and testing in the same place unless we want overloading there to happen. Next up, the bid debt system in the operational launch mount has a limited volume of water stored in the tanks. The system could spray as much as 350,000 gallons of water during Starship ignition and liftoff, according to the FAA's programmatic environmental assessment from June 2022. Such amounts of water could only be adapted to a static fire test in less than 10 seconds and are ideally intended for a full launch. Besides that, a small flame trench does not cost so much to build and is also durable. So why not consider having a specialized flame trench for static fire and save that precious water for the actual flight? Currently, all activities involving SpaceX's engine take place in SpaceX's rocket development and test facility 
in McGregor, Texas. Originally built to test military weapons, McGregor has undergone a transition to rocket production and testing, with SpaceX assuming control in 2003 to test the Merlin engine. SpaceX invested significantly in expanding the site, increasing its size by up to 15 times. Thanks to that, Raptor engine production surged significantly, resulting in the McGregor test stand often examining multiple engines daily. However, this also causes a disadvantage, given that McGregor's facilities may struggle to meet future demands, particularly considering its concurrent task of testing Merlin engines. For that reason, the need for a new facility to effectively share the testing burden is imperative. The construction of the Raptor facility in Starbase, where the Starship operation also takes place, fosters specialization within each area. This delineation ensures that each sector bears responsibility for distinct systems, preventing overlap that could impede progress. Not only that, but this also offers logistical advantages, minimizing travel time and costs. Can't help but say the Massey test site emerges as the prime choice for housing the Flame Trench test system for Starship and Raptor engines. Since 2019, the SpaceX operation has attracted hundreds of tourists to Boca Chica Beach. People would go check out the Starbase launch site and then go to Massey's gun shop and range for target practice activities. According to local residents, the shooting range is still open at a different location along the State Highway 4 road that leads to Starbase. The company has purchased multiple lands in the Sandy region, including homes that have been transformed into offices, resting spaces, and even an Ad Astra childcare school for employees. Starbase also has a restaurant bar that serves employees drinks and warm meals, among other amenities. At present, in addition to the construction of the engine test stand, Massey Test Site is equipped with facilities for cryogenic testing for both ship and super heavy components. Once fully completed, Massey will serve as the center for all testing activities, including spin prime and static fire tests currently conducted at the suborbital pad within the launch site. The recent removal of Pad AE and the possible destruction of Pad B emphasizes the delineation of test and launch activities, clarifying the role of each area within Starbase. What's more, we see construction of small warehouses and testing stands is ongoing. The installation of fuel tanks akin to those at the launch site marks a prominent development. These tanks store methane and nitrogen fuel, with fuel piping systems being installed to connect them to the prototype testing system. Future expansion is anticipated to accommodate the Raptor engine testing system, further enhancing Massey's capabilities. Anyway, it's so great to see SpaceX always being flexible in applying both modern and traditional systems to optimize its operation. With the application of the Flame Trench, we hope that it can contribute significantly to Starship's development and make the goal of Mars colonization come true quickly. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. If you want to explore more aspects of the world's most powerful rockets, and the world of rockets in general, here is a selection of deeper dive videos for you. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.